this is Apache. This is our first and only pony we've ever had. And uh, we're going to talk today about how we trained him to do cart. Um, now bear in mind I have never trained an equine and this equine has never been trained. So we worked together and figured it out. And uh, This is just how we did it. This is how we did it. Dad raised quarter horses when we were young and um, when we got him we thought Dad would help us because Dad trained all the quarter horses and he says he's a he doesn't think like a horse and I don't understand him. So then we knew we were on our own. So we got a book on how to train them to, for, to cart and they said first you lunge them. Apache doesn't lunge. So then we tried to figure out what to do. We consulted some horse people we know and they told us what to do and he still wouldn't lunge. So we jumped directly into um, training with the harness. So we'll show today how we did that. And we did a slow so this is probably going to be a two-part video. We did a slow training with him to make sure he was ready. We did learn that horse whispering methods work with him, though. So basically, if he does anything naughty, I grab him right here. You're supposed to have two equipment for this, but I don't. I grab him right here. I squeeze. I push him backward. I bring him forward, rub his forehead, and then do it again. And that resets his little brain. So here's the saddle for the cart. This is the part where you have to watch yourself with ponies because they like to kick. He's never kicked me, but he'd like to, obviously. Tighten that up. Cinch it up pretty good because they hold their breath, as Dad told us. Give me this. Lift. Lift it. I'm just going to tuck that in for right now until we get over there. This is the crupper, the tailpiece. This holds this so it doesn't slide around so much. Lift. Okay, so the first thing we did was show him all this stuff, as you're supposed to do with all horse training. Let him touch it. Let, Let him, him touch smell it, it, smell it. And watch when you're doing this, because you're messing with their tail, and that can kind of irritate the pony. And uh, got a little bit of kicking here and there but not kicking me, and that's what the important thing is. Okay, so, this piece goes on next. I forgot the name of this. You don't have to know the name of things to train the pony. It's basically, it goes around his breast, like a collar thingy. So let's unhook this. I know, what are we doing, huh? What are we doing to you? So again, you're showing them everything. They don't like things going over their head, but you kind of just sack them out with it, kind of touch them with it everywhere. And then around here. Well, same a lot with, of this is just principles, of course. Same with training. his pack saddle. She shows it to him and lets him touch it and stuff every so time before she puts right it on, there. typically. And then for him, the hardest part was and is the bit. Here's his bit. And, um... If the bit doesn't work for you, you can get a meaner bit, but go with the easiest bit on the horse to, to start. Um, he doesn't resist it much. So don't shove it in his teeth because you can break their little teeth. Let's do your hair, dude. Yeah. Um, but I hold, I hold it up here like this. You can put molasses on it and it'll take it more willingly. And just kind of jiggle, jiggle, hold this, and finally he'll open. And he hates this part because he doesn't like his ears handled. Ah. Ah. Don't be naughty. I can't discipline him right now because he's tied. I can just go, ah. That's all the verbal discipline. Yelling, screaming, um, whatever doesn't work with horses typically. Um, you're not supposed to fight with them because they can win. And then once they win, then they know they won and you're done. So basically, I do, everything he does, I back him up. Okay, so come around here, cinch this up. And then this piece, he's got blinders on his, and you can, you know, have him without. This prevents him from being worried about things coming up behind. Which actually can be a big problem with him. If he, there's a cat or a duck anywhere near him, he used to get really upset. But. Do this on a sunny day, um, preferably no wind, um, preferably without, like, distractions that might worry him, 
He was terrified of ducks initially, so if there was ducks on the pond, we didn't work. Um, he doesn't care about nothing now. He was upset about puddles as well, though, so... Well, yeah, we'll talk about that a little bit if I can remember. Will you quit that? Look at you! <laughs> Are you having a tantrum? I'm having a tantrum, okay? I'm attaching the rein. Make sure you attach it to this. I'm, I have his halter on, too, so I can tie him. You never want to tie him by the bridle. Because the if he jerks, the bit can hurt him. So you, I keep the halter on. Make sure you attach it to the, the bit, not the halter. We've done that before. Novices. I like this. Okay. Still having a tantrum. Yeah, he's having a fit. Actually, I better secure this just a little bit better. So the first thing we did, you're supposed to, to... He's trained to lead, okay? And him leading me is unnatural for him. So, and somebody following behind him, which is what's happening when he's, you're pulling a cart, is unnatural for them, and that intimidates them. So you kind of just got to watch their little feelings. Ponies are really brave, okay? He's not a coward. Um, way braver than a horse. And, but you still have to watch out for their little uh, eccentricities. Um, so don't follow too close. Don't be too loud initially. Afterward, I'll show you what we did. Okay, so what we first did, because he's trying to lead and not, or lead behind me, he's not trained to go ahead. So you go behind him uh, saying walk, and he doesn't understand that. So we lift the lead on. This took two people, okay? So we left the lead on. Turn. Run into me. <laughs> Here we go. And I'll take the reins. Somebody was in front, leading. Can you say walk? Walk. And then, this is the safety person who doesn't understand why we're doing this. Why are we back to baby school? G, and you tug just lightly, lightly, on the right hand rein. And then a good practice is whoa. Whoa. And the person, he's not supposed to be ahead of me. <laughs> And we got the lead longer and longer and longer where I was leading and then my sister was driving behind. So that there was still control and there was still somebody in front, but there wasn't uh, a visible somebody so close. And he can rely more on the instruction of the reins and the person behind. Walk. And then I've got long, if he's trying to catch up with me. <laughs> and then puddles were an issue. So he'd come to a puddle and he'd balk. Now see how he goes through the puddle. And see how I go through the puddle. <laughs> what ended up happening, he'd stop right there and I would get out there and I would, first I would walk him through this without the harness. And I would back him up, and this time backing him up, back up, and then forward. It's like, what are you doing? Back up and forward, and that's all it takes, that's discipline. There doesn't need to be screaming and shouting and having a fit with him, because that's just going to... See, he's looking for this. So I'm doing big arm movements so he knows that nothing's going to happen to him when that big arm movement happens. And he was scared of that at first, because he went at a different home first. He said, walk. And then I would get further and further ahead. We had this on like a 15-foot line. And he... And whoa, and try to say it in the same tone, everybody says, but try to vary your tone is what I say, because he needs, to, you're not always gonna think in the spur of a moment to use the same exact tone you always use. Especially if it's an emergency. So, so I go, whoa, whoa, in different tones. So he understands still that even though I'm using a different tone, it's the same command, right? And then, uh, ha is left, ha. And you want to teach a multiple point turn. Whoa, this is way before you cook them up to the car. Whoa. And then back, back. And you tug, tug, tug on the rein. And then you turn. Yeah, because you may need to maneuver the cart. You need to be able to do a multi point turn. Multiple point, we worked on hill. Me. And you got to watch the, the turning radius when you're doing this. 
Because when he has a card on, the turning radius is going to need to be pretty big. Huh? Huh? Whoa. Back. 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 And he knows all the words right now, so it's really hard for me to show you exactly how he was trained. Because he does know all the words. But if you get in a, tar a tight space with the cart, though, you need him to be able to back up and go a different direction. So horses and ponies hate backing, but just lightly tug on the rein. And then, if need be, have the person on the lead rope backing him. Back, 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 and you're walking into the horse. But not, you want to stay a little bit to the side, because if you're fully on like this, this is intimidation. But you're just kind of coming alongside. You're not fully confronting that horse by being in front of it like that. Always have your be turned slightly to the side. Walk. He knows trot. We may teach him all this stuff before hooking up to the cart. And with trot, I would just be in front of him with the lead and he say trot, trot, trot. And I just go. Easy walk. And teach him that we must slow down when we say so that we're not um, continuing to trot when there's a need to slow down to turn or whatever. Okay. So, here's the cart, and shall we make this a separate video? Or I think so, yeah. Okay, so join us for part two of when we hook them up to the cart. Is it the